Alright, so we're here with uh, Lori Hashimoto, the owner of Hana Japanese Eatery, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the Japanese culture. What are some important aspects of Japanese culture? Um, I think some of the most important aspects of Japanese culture um, are mannerisms, common courtesies. I think that when you have such a large amount of people living in such a small landmass, it ends up becoming something that not only do they do out of environment, but they do out of the fact that when that is the situation, in order to have order and not have chaos, people need to follow common courtesies that happen in, in the country, which allows them to be able to live more harmoniously together. What are the biggest differences between the United States and in Japan since you have visited before? Um, I think some of the biggest differences in the United States and Japan is that I think amongst society um, and understanding kind of the way people are socialized, in America it is, it is truly understood that you want to become an individual, you want to be independent, you want to um, be the person who stands out, um, possibly the creative, possibly the person who um, is the shining star. Um, in Japan they have a saying and it's, and it's known throughout the country, it's not a regional thing, it's not something that generations say, it's within all uh, of Japanese culture. The nail that sticks out gets hammered down. Have you heard that before? So, You've heard that before? Yes. Yeah. I'd never heard that before until so, you told me. At the end of the day I think it's, it's really because in Japan the expectation is everything is done on the same level. Um, it's done with the same level of quality. It's done with the same thought, method, and process in mind. Um, it's not that one person shines out above another. It really truly is about um, working at the most humblest point um, of human nature and being able to get it done effectively and efficiently. Um, and there's not a lot of room for um, differences. You know, that's why when I look at things that happen in the United States, such as the invention of things that, you know, uh, we have, in the United States, we have some of the, the most world-renowned inventors of anything. Um, in Japan, it's really about maybe possibly taking an idea and making it better. Uh, the thought of creation or inventiveness is not there, even though um, in the levels of the automotive industry or technology, they are leading the world, but at the same time, they took things that were already made and made them better. What are some things around the valley that other people can participate in if they're interested in the Japanese culture? You know, I think one of the funnest things um, that you can do here in the valley, and it's it's been going on for decades, is the Matsui Festival downtown. Okay. Uh, the Matsui Festival is held at the end of every February. It's the last weekend of February. Every year for, I, I would have to say, the last 40 years. Um, it's a very, very, very fun and interactive uh, festival that goes downtown at Heritage Square. It's always been held at Heritage Square downtown, um, where people can have the opportunity to enjoy food, art, uh, creative dance, um, come see some of the vendors that are out there um, that are selling Japanese goods, products, oh, okay. and services. Um, and it, it really kind of immerses you um, in what the Japanese culture is here in Arizona.
do what we call hamezaiko. That means Japanese craft, Japanese uh -huh. candy, or what could be Japanese uh, uh, sweet craft. Also, a lot of celebrity parties I do. Paris Hilton. Uh, I just missed the uh, 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 Christina Aguirre party wow. last last uh, in January. They contacted me too late. I was booked already, uh -huh. so I couldn't take her job.